Hi, I'm Ann Beckinsett here at the library and today I'm going to show you how to make a fun sun catcher. And this is the finished product. Um, what you'll need and we're going to supply it all in little baggies besides the Elmer's clear glue and it is washable. So you're going to, we'll provide the glass gems, um, the, a plastic lid, some fishing wire, and then you will need a scissors to trim your fishing wire after you tie the knot. Um, and then what I did, I used just a paper clip to poke the hole in the, once it's dry to make the hole for the fishing wire. So first thing you do is you take your clasp gems and you just make a simple design, whatever you want, on your lid so you have an idea. And you may have an extra one um, and there's gonna be space between them but um, the glue will take care of that so once you have an idea of what you're gonna do then you're gonna take the glue and the first time I did it I put too much glue so as you can see but again it doesn't matter it's clear um, it's just gonna keep your stones together. So, um, there's different type of lids you can use. I felt the ones from the deli work best because they got a nice smooth edge. Um, the idea I got off the internet showed using one of these. And I think maybe if you use the flat side of it, there's a little edge there, because again, you don't need that much glue. Um, this one came from High V, the top again, that would give you a square, so it doesn't have to be clear. And this is a Pringles top. So um, the lids we will be supplying are round ones, this size. So first we do the glue. You want it to cover the entire lid. Kind of get the glue spread around. Fill in some spots. So we got one more bubble there where there's no glue. So if you can see, we're making sure we got the glue all over the lid. And 
and then and you can move things around um, until it's you know at first so if you change your mind on something and that's washable glue I don't like that I got all clear ones left, so I'm gonna move things around a little bit. Probably not a bad idea to have a paper towel. Okay, so again, I might have put too much glue, but I mean, it's not gonna matter. It's gonna dry clear. So now you've got your um, all your glass gems on your plastic and the glue. Um, you're gonna have to allow the sun catcher to dry for two to three days. Um, when I made my first one, there was a fly in the area and I was all paranoid about the fly getting in, so I put it in a box to dry. Well, it does not dry in the box, so don't do that. Um, just try to put it someplace out of the area of flies, otherwise you might have a nice little fly in there or other bugs, so anyway. and. Um, two to three days, you can expedite the drying process by using a hair dryer on a low setting. When dry, you carefully just peel it from the lid. So let's say this was wet and you just carefully peel around and take it off. And then, like I said, I used, um, excuse me, my fishing wire just broke again, um, a paper clip to punch a hole in there and then string my fishing wire through. Um, and then you can hang and enjoy. So we will have these kits available starting September 1st until we run around run out we do have more at this time of, of the glass gems or the glass stones um then we do lids so if you do want to uh donate some lids like i said the ones that work best are from the deli um strawberry fluff is my fa favorite from the deli but um anyway so if you do want to donate those we'll take care of getting the label off but if they can just be washed thank you and if you have any questions let us know